Um, so the idea behind creating this as a toolbar, and we've started like a long time ago now, I think it's almost a year in the making. Um, and I feel very bad for just taking so much time to finally compile this thing of work. But wh when did we start it? I think it was, yeah, roughly a year ago. Maybe? It was roughly a year ago. Um, yeah. And the idea was that we do produce a lot of those um, plugins, uh, they take a lot of time to, to create and publish and, the, and they're robust and accessible um, virtually from for all the, um, the community. For the most part, they're free of charge, ours are at least. And this is our way has always been to kind of give back to the community. But this process is time consuming as you need to structure the plugin, publish it, follow all the test procedures, polish it, update it and all that. And it takes a while. And at, at, at the time where PyRabbit appeared and we weren't amongst the very first one to adopt it, the, the, the giant, the, the most beautiful part of it was that um, it's super easy to deploy, right? And at first, initially, at least for us, we started using it between ourselves, between the two of us, with our clients internally, we would start kind of deploying those micro packages around and see, see the usefulness of it, how easy it was to, to update, to debug. Um, as you don't really need to compile, start Reddit and all that, or, you know, go the extra mile and figure out how to um, debug without restarting Reddit, you know, that, that was solved from, from the get-go with PyReddit. And it's a free project, it's open source, all the stuff that we kind of gravitate toward as well. So PyReddit was pretty cool. And then what, what did we do? We, we said, okay, let's start packaging some of the things that we do with our clients. Um, and we ourselves use on the daily basis and find useful and create a toolbar, which we will then publish and make sure it's part of uh, PyRevit's extension. As you mentioned, it was very easy to deploy and distribute uh, among users. Uh, it didn't require anything uh, complicated to install, like packages. Um, it works uh, quite well on various versions of Revit. And it is very expressive in the sense that you can do a lot of things with it. I, it helped me get even more familiar with the Revit API and creating these everyday tools. I learned to do them more and more complex and until some of them evolved in the tools that you see now in the toolbar. Well, yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. I mean, there, there are so many little helpful things uh, in PyRevit that you start appreciating as you go. Um, the script object that has a bunch of useful tools, the logger, the forms for UI, the um, hooks, um, so many well thought out pieces of the puzzle that just allow you to, to speed up because the alternative really is to script them yourself, right? And it, it takes a while to create a nicely orchestrated plugin for small or large, you know, functionalities. And this does, does a lot of the heavy lifting for you behind the scenes, which is great.